Have you ever used the race car analogy? Hey, what's up, guys? This is your race pace coach, and today we'll go over the race car analogy and doing dry land plateauing and lifting weights. Okay. So the race car analogy is is this is this is what I use to encourage swimmers to start lifting weights, start doing dry land. And especially for plateauing swimmers, okay? So I tell them about the race car analogy where you're, I say that their body is like a race car, right? So there's the four-cylinder engine race car, there's the six-cylinder, and then there's the eight-cylinder and up, <clears throat> okay? And then the higher the cylinder, the higher the horsepower, the faster you'll go okay so for plateauing swimmers or swimmers that want wants to improve i tell them right now you're probably at maybe at like a four cylinder you know race car and you need to build up more muscle so that you know you get to that six cylinder level and then once you're plateauing at the six cylinder level you know you have to go even heavier and faster to get to the eight cylinder and that is the race car analogy it's to encourage the swimmers to um come to dry land you know or do weightlifting training on their own okay um i always encourage that the once when they do dry land or weightlifting they're tracking their results and they keep their workouts consistent you know it's not work out here and there for so many reps you know everything is timed everything is um, everything is consistent and um it's exactly like how they do their race pace you know try taking out all the outlying factors and then just keep, keeping keeping the variables only at the the weight the time and the how long they rest Okay, and then the number of reps that they do when they're lifting weights. So an example would be like bicep curls. I have my swimmers do bicep curls for a minute and then we rest two minutes. And then they're trying to do as many as they can with a medicine ball in one minute. So normally when the swimmers get to 60 60 reps in one minute so that's one per second i have them move to a heavier weight to make it more challenging make it more harder and then they once they move to a heavier weight they're trying to get back up to that 60 reps per second and then once they do that we go to an even heavier weight so we're, we're always just like the target times so the weight of the ball is like the target time where we're trying to go heavier and faster and get fast try to try to move do those reps as fast as per, uh, as fast as they can per at least one per second okay so this this is what i do and encourage swimmer plateauing swimmers to do gotta do dry land gotta do weightlifting if you want to improve yourself to get used to the higher cylinder race car and so that you can perform faster in the water and out of, the, out of the water okay so again when we do weights again we focus on the weight and the speed okay and then keeping again keeping everything constant the interval the rest how many reps that we do with a medicine ball and then we always try to improve ourselves and challenge ourselves by going heavier once we've kind of hit the maximum threshold with the, a with your current weight and then we move on to the a heavier weight to make it more challenging okay so i hope you enjoyed this video on the race car analogy if you ha if you've used this before you know comment in the description below comment in the comment box below and i'll thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video